I'm Jenna Rosenstein and this is The Beauty Show and today we're going inside an insane makeup stash of none other than Mario Tedevanovic. Hey! Hey Jenna! How are you? How are you? So good to see you. He is Makeup by Mario, he's also Kim Kardashian's makeup artist, and he's pretty much the mastermind behind the modern trend of contouring and highlighting. Let's go! I really want to see your beauty stash. Of course you do. <laughs> Can we go see it? Yes, of course, come. So this is um, the beauty stash slash dressing room closet. Oh my god, look at those sneakers. They're all Yeezys, oh my god. <laughs> I love collecting Yeezys. I don't actually wear most of them. I just wear like a few pairs. Yeah, well, you have the hookup. Okay, so I'm guessing this isn't a giant box full of Saint Laurent products, right? This is where I keep my Kylie stash. Oh my god. Um, these are concealers, some lip. There's pretty much like every Kylie launch is in here. This is like some people's dream, you realize? Yeah. yeah, and then this are, these are <laughs> lip kits in here. Oh my god, you have every one. These are things I haven't even seen in my entire life. Oh, oh the, the eyeliner. Yeah. Oh yeah, the OGs. And all that stuff. Mm. People always ask, well, why do you save them? Like, why don't you yeah. save everybody else's? It's hard to find makeup from many, many, many years ago. 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, yeah. like, you know, Marilyn Monroe's makeup, right. people like that. Like, it's, this will be so iconic to be able to have these, not because people use them, people get rid of them, right. you know. Oh yeah, these, these, I love. these are super limited edition, or like they were, so fun. I actually like a lot of these brushes, they're really nice. Like yeah. this is such a good contour brush. So this is one of my beauty closets. One of your beauty closets. <laughs> yeah, so basically, um, here's the deal. So I get sent, obviously, I mean I would say hundreds if not thousands of products a month. Those boxes get sent daily to a storage room. There's about one or two that I will take from all those and bring them into my personal closet, which is this one. And then this is where my assistant and I we restock our kit daily. Shout out to my assistant Dominique because it would not look like this if it was up to me. And I the mean, container store, wherever you got yeah, these wonderful container things. Store, yeah. <laughs> First of all, all those beauty blenders. For each application I do, I actually use about six or seven beauty blenders. I really? use one for concealer, one for foundation. I use one uh, to blend under the eyes, one for the eyelids. I use one for contours. Okay, so I see that you have your lipsticks organized, at least by brand, over here. Yes. So Laura Mercier, MAC, Urban K. So with the lipsticks, I actually don't take these tubes of lipsticks to work. We have palettes, and so my assistant will, you know, take all the nudes that I love and she'll scoop them out and put them into these little palettes. Mm -hmm. And then same thing with the reds or purples or oranges, whatever it is. With pencils, we don't organize by brand, obviously, because, you know, there's just a lot of pencils. So <clears throat> wow. this is, for example, like lip pencils, eye pencils. These are some cream eyeshadows, um, some liners. I just thought they have such an impressive mix of brands here. Like you have Marc Jacobs, Urban Decay. I use so many brands and definitely high and low. Okay. This is the... Is this mascara? Yeah, these are mm -hmm. mascaras. I every now and then bring a new mascara into my kit to try it. This has been my 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 go-to for 18 years. I think everyone is going to want to see this uh, giant collection of KKW beauty products. Of course, <laughs> I get sent two of those, like two of each of those, really? because I use some, and then I also like to save uh, all of them, the original ones. Oh my god, it's so heavy. It's so heavy. This is literally like I know it's heavy. It's, it's a like 20 it, pounds. It's a workout. <laughs> Uh, but I do save all of their you stuff. You have every single one. I'll help you with that. Okay. <laughs> In this bin here are some concealers. These are blushes and mm -hmm. bronzers. Here we have highlighters mm -hmm. and concealers as well. This is the Master Yay, Palette by Mario. Master Palette. Every now and then I will give some one to somebody, but people beg me for these all the time. They do? Yeah, they sell them on eBay for really expensive. Oh my god. <laughs> but That's this crazy. is this so is truly a limited edition. I mean it, it, yeah. once it sold out it never it was, came back. Yeah, it's not coming back. So you're really the last um, one to have all of these samples. Yes. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's my mom and dad. Oh I was gonna say this is so cute. <laughs> yeah this is just to remind me of you know my early days where I came from. <laughs> these are different cream bronzers, cream highlighters. And then this is all complexion. This is all complexion. This whole side is complexion. Back in the day, I did used to use mainly just like a cream foundation. But you know, as the years went on and trends changed and my style evolved, um, I definitely started bringing tons more complexion products in. Okay. And so now, uh, depending on my what client I'm working on, I use all different types of foundations. So these are all of your like go-to favorites. Yes. So you know, I have like the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, which mm -hmm. I use a lot of times on models for like shoots and things. Okay. Um, I have the Cogendo foundations. So good for um, hydrating. Yes, so when I want to do really dewy skin, mm -hmm. I use those. And these are Armani. Tom Ford uh, sticks, mm -hmm. and I use these a lot to contour, actually. Oh, you know, I like, to, I like to texture for contour. Just so everyone knows, I put all the foundations that I use in my kit, I put them into little tiny oh. bottles like this, and we put the names Where'd on them Where do you get here. these little bottles? I think these are from Muji. Muji. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. The Beauty Blender Bounce, I like to use, again, for someone that doesn't need powder, that mm -hmm. just wants like a matte finish. Mm -hmm. 
And then I have different stuff here too. There's this brand, uh, Suku. Uh, I think it's how you pronounce it. It's from Japan. Ooh. And Kate Bosworth actually put me onto this brand. She likes to use this foundation. Okay. Because okay. I, I honestly, I didn't even know where to get it from. Yeah, I have never seen this before. It's a very like luxurious, beautiful line of makeup. Mm -hmm. This is all concealers. What is this? It probably looks crazy, but this is, if you guys remember a YouTube video, um, Kim and I, I think it was nine or ten years ago, this was the concealer I used. Um, this is the same one? Well, no, not this oh. actual one. This brand, <laughs> okay. this brand. It's a, I think it's Dermacolor Cryolon. It's a drier consistency, but it really gives amazing coverage. This is like my new absolute favorite. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion. I've never seen a concealer that doesn't like go into the lines right. and increase, this one truly doesn't. So I saw on Instagram not too long ago you said that you weren't actually using the Ben Eye powder in that like famous photo of right. him, but here you have a Ben Eye powder. Yeah, so I do I do it. use Ben Eye powders. Okay. I never use it under the eyes um, on a Caucasian or light-skinned women. I mm -hmm. use it on women of color. Banana powder specifically. Banana powder, okay. or I'll use like um, different ones, like this one here is Topaz. Oh my this God. would go on a super dark uh, dark skin. Cool. This is probably the most used bin. So this is the, the bin most that. Most used. Well, yeah. So in between jobs, we, you know, we grab things like this is. These are blushes, right? Like the Surat blushes. Mm -hmm. you know, these are things like makeup artist things that you use to remove heavy glues that I apply on the face. Ooh. So these are actually these puffs are the ones that I send my clients off with. If I'm not going to the red carpet with them, which traditionally I don't. I mean, mm. sometimes I do, but I'll put some powder on there for them. They literally just have to go like that right before right. they hit the carpet. Take down the shine. Yeah. And so th that I have for that, and then I bought these in Japan. Oh my god. What do you, it's like for your pinky. Yeah, I mean, I bought a huge bag of makeup from Japan. They have the coolest, just really, really different and fun stuff. Yeah. Um, Did you get this like a drugstore there? It's like a, yeah, some, yeah. some sort of drugstore. Okay, you have a lot of Tatcha um, face masks, I yes, see. Yes, I love Tatcha. I feel like a lot of people don't realize that a big part of a makeup artist's job is actually skincare, too, yes. like skin prep. Yeah. So these are important. If I have time before applying the makeup, especially mm -hmm. for like a big red carpet, I like to put a mask on and let it sit for about 10 minutes or an eye mask because mm. it really provides that glow and that moisture that looks beautiful on camera. Right. Yeah, these are Kojundo Cleansing Spa Water Wipes. And I love these. They have no smell. They're not oily at yeah, all. Yeah, they're oil free. After I'm done doing eyeshadow on the eyes, mm -hmm. when there's fallout, mm -hmm. I'll clean with these. Mm. So do you always do eyes first and then do complexion? Yeah, I do brows first and eyes okay. and then I clean and then I do complexion. All right, so I cleans with these. You mentioned you have the early Samples of the, your collab with Kim yeah. Kardashian. Can we see those? Um, yeah, I think those are. Well, it's not actually. The, <gasps> it's not actually the. Pro, I know, it's oh my god! <laughs> Wait. It's not, yeah. Every drawer, there's like a new surprise. What are these? So these are, this was from the process of creating the KKW Mario collab. They would basically send me different options of colors for mm. me to choose from, different options of packaging, with different feels and textures. I think this is the one we had chosen. Yeah, color. it's gorgeous. These are lashes. Uh, yeah, I would say these are lashes. <laughs> this is an entire drawer full of this eyelashes. Is, this is actually not a lot for me. I mean, I have in the storage room bins and bins and bins. This drawer is more of the cool. dramatic lashes. And then here we have like the all the individuals which I use yeah. so many. We recently started doing more dramatic lashes at times. I love the Lily lashes. She has great styles. Like, And then the ones that I would use the most often, I would say, are the Ardell individuals, which I, I kind of mix them. I use medium, I use short, and I use long, and kind of create my own little style of lash. This is kind of like my personal skin <gasps> stuff that I like to put in here. Like my expensive special stuff, so when I run out of my stuff, I have back up here. Same thing with this drawer. This is like Louboutin. Like the Louboutin products. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> that I was just saying I love that mascara I'm wearing it today. Oh, it's, 90, it? it's $90. I've never tried it. It's amazing, but it's uh, Is it 90, worth 90 It's $90. Um, you know. No. I mean, it's just so beautiful. <laughs> All right, so this is my brow station. Oh my I go through Anastasia brow pencils like you have no idea. I just, I mean, I've never I seen so many. I think I you know. have more than she does. No. Yeah. Well. <laughs> the thing is, I really do go through them. I mean, we constantly have to order them because, and keep in mind, there's like eight or nine colors, right, so I need multiples of all them. All right, so you mentioned that you love luxury skincare. Um, do you use anything yourself? Like, what is your personal skincare collection? Like? Um, I like luxury and I like drugstore. I could show you. Yeah, oh, let's go see. Okay really simple when it comes to my own skin. Okay. Um, I obviously I don't wear makeup every day, but I do have to wear it sometimes at work when I film Glam Masters, obviously. So one of my dermatologists, Dr. Sherry, she's amazing. She actually put me onto this, the Neutrogena Healthy Defense. That's a moisturizer with sunscreen. Also this product here, this is Onyxton. This is like a fenthyl peroxide gel. I believe it, it kind of bleaches your skin. Okay. But this really helped me with my breakouts a lot. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you have to go to your derm to get this. Yes. So this CeraVe, mm -hmm. so I use this for moisturizing a lot. It's just lightweight, it's fragrance-free, mm -hmm. it's great for me because I, I think I have sensitive skin, so okay. this is the famous Tatcha water cream. Water cream. 
which is really nice in the summer. Mm -hmm. Purity Made Simple, which is like iconic. I love this one too because it's super light and mm -hmm. natural. So you're really into moisturizer. Um, I use moisturizer every day, yeah, yeah, so, so obviously, but I like to change them up because I do get bored sometimes. Um, eye creams here, mm -hmm. again, La Mer and Purity Made Simple from uh, Philosophy. Yep. Up is my dentist actually, but he has amazing toothpaste and things like that. So I have it here. Jimmy Coco? Uh, Jimmy Coco. Do you sell tan? <laughs> if, only if I'm going to be taking photos or going to be on camera, which mm -hmm. I guess turns out to be a lot nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so what I do is like I'll tan the night before and sleep on it, mm -hmm. or I'll do it the morning of, I wake up super early. Okay. And so I'll, like, I'll tan at like 4.35 a.m. and mm -hmm. then it kind of sets in for a few hours, and I take a shower and go to work. I just started using this one, it's Replenix, okay. and this is another amazing skin person, Laura Dyer, okay. here in Manhattan. This is glycolic and salicylic acid. Yes. She also put me onto these two, which I've been loving, and I use this every now in the morning. So it's Hyaluronic Acid Serum, okay. Re Replenix, and then Replenix Smoothing Serum. Mm. And I use this first and that over it. I feel like this really has been helping to kind of prevent the breakouts from coming through. And then when I do break out, mm -hmm. you want me to show you my all-time favorite product? Please, yes. Okay. Do you remember <laughs> the movie, My Big Fat Greek Wedding? Of course. Okay, remember the father, how... The Windex, Windex. on everything? Yes. So my Windex is tea tree oil. <laughs> okay. And You put on everything? They're all over my house, they're <laughs> all over my travel bag. It really helps my with blemishes. Well, so you have three bottles of it here. Well, here, and then yeah. I have them all over my house, too. <laughs> <laughs> so you like the go-to Anastasia brow pencils. Mm -hmm. I use all the different ones here. Well, you certainly have enough of them. Yes, I do. <laughs> I definitely do. I like to use concealers that are hard in texture and not oily. Because okay. they kind of stick on my skin really nicely and I don't have to set them too much. Mm -hmm. um, this is the Laura Mercier. You just tap it on? Tap it on with my finger, blend okay. it, you know, blend it. around it. So I see you have this Donna Karen Cashmere Mist deodorant. Is that your favorite one? I am obsessed with this. <laughs> um, I wish I wasn't. A few years ago, I was on set uh, with Chris McMillan, the hairstylist, mm -hmm. and he's like, Jen Aniston loves the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. He's mm -hmm. like, it works really well. It makes her not sweat. So I literally went online and bought it right there. This is like the most bulletproof. Okay, I'm going to go buy this right now. <laughs> yeah. And this is the tinted moisturizers I use. Let's see. Okay. Laura Mercier I use mostly. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes just to add deepness to, to colors, I'll use like the Lancome. Okay. I use the La Mer every now and then. Sometimes I mix all of them. You use your a beauty blender or a brush? I never do this at work. But okay. <laughs> I, I put it here and I literally go like this. All right, like And then I option. just like, yeah. All right, well. Set it with a little powder and then go with my bronzer. Couldn't be easier. Yeah. I yes. want to show you something with the guys. My brother got me this for, uh, it was one of my gifts for Christmas last year. Okay. This thing is so amazing. It's the brawn. You press it here. Okay. It moves like that. And then you can literally get the cleanest shade. So when you're too lazy to, or you don't have time, to put the shaving cream on mm -hmm. and to use the razor or anything, you literally just go like this and it kind of molds against your face and it gets it gets such a close shave, go like that. So like and then you can literally like just trim your mustache. Mm -hmm. This thing is a lifesaver ever since I grew facial hair. Yeah. This is really good for trimming mustache or beard okay. and then you know when I take this piece off here, that works really good for you know getting that perfect line on the mustache. After the shower and skin and shaving, mm -hmm. I get dressed and then I come to the fragrance section. Okay, you have so many. Yes, I love, I've loved fragrance ever since I was a little kid. Yeah. So if I had to pick a favorite, mm -hmm. it would be, it definitely can't be just one. Okay. It would be the Tom Ford uh, range of fragrances. I really honestly love all of them. The ones right at the front here. Well, these, yeah. and then well, these as well. Oh yeah, these guys. You know, these back here as Rugged. well. Mm -hmm. The uh, I think Fabulous. Yeah, obsessed <laughs> with this one, the Ombre Leather. Ooh. It's one of my favorites. And then other ones that I use, well, actually the KKW, um, the Vibes. This, this is one here. my favorite one. My it's, favorite too. It's so good. Yeah, I told her the other day, and I'm, she's like, all right, I'll give you a bunch of them. I, I do mix them too sometimes. Like, okay. I think today, for example, I may have come to the station three times. <laughs> I think I did tobacco vanilla. Okay. I think I did tobacco oud. Mm. And then maybe four times. And then I think I did a little <laughs> bit of this white one, the white patchouli. But this is all within like three hours. Okay. And then I did a little bit of the harmonious one. All right. By the time I get to work, you'll have a subtle smell like on your wrist. And mm -hmm. you know, it's nice when your client smells something nice. Yeah. I have clients in the Middle East, the Saudi okay. Arabia, Bahrain. There, there's like a specific smell, oud. It's right. a very strong fragrance. Like I like to mix it with things. And so I get beautiful fragrances like that. So you did get your start at Sephora with fragrance, right? Yes. That's how I started my career in beauty when okay. I was 17. And I went in to meet with you know, one of the management of people who came from France mm -hmm. when they were opening up the new store in New York City. And she said, well, what experience do you have? Because she only saw, like, I was a busboy and I worked <laughs> in the Bronx Zoo. And I was like, well, I was like, I use a lot of cologne, you know? And <laughs> that was pretty much my experience. And, you know, she's like, all right, you're so cute. She's like, we're going we're, we're gonna to hire you. This is where I get my beauty sleep. Oh, it's very beautiful. Thank you. I fixed my bed for you guys today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. All right, hair. So this is the hair bathroom. Um, what do I say about hair? Why is it your least favorite? Uh, 
I have extremely difficult hair. It takes so much product for my hair to like not just to, to do anything. Mm -hmm. It literally just sits flat, completely flat. Mm -hmm. So it's been a struggle my whole life. Also, I'm Eastern European, so mm -hmm. for any Eastern Europeans out there, you guys know the story, we have weird shaped heads. I have to style my hair to kind of change the shape of my head a little bit. Okay. I use the Way um, um, Volume Spray. Yep, so great. So when my hair is wet, I'll spray this on. It's pretty much saturated in the front area and back here where I want more volume. Mm -hmm. And then I use the, the Dyson the Dyson blow dryer to blow it uh, with a little brush. And then I go into products. And so I love this one. This is the Mitch by mm -hmm. Paul Mitchell. Mm -hmm. and this is Stronghold Ultra Matte. So mm -hmm. it's hard to find uh, clays that are extremely matte. Yeah. And this one truly is. I okay. mean, there is like no shine or and oil. You just take it. a little bit and run it through your hair. I take a little bit and I kind of run it through my hair, blow it again. This drugstore, Dry shampoo is really good as well. Yeah, it's, it's called, called Psst. Psst. <laughs> I mean, this has been around forever, I think. Yeah, it's like I, the 70s. I've seen this since I was a little kid. Yeah. yeah. And my all time favorite, of course, is the L'Oreal Elmet. It's everyone's favorite. Yeah. yeah. And I get most of mine when I travel to London, London or Europe. Mm -hmm. And my mom uses this too, so I buy them for her as well. Harry Josh actually introduced me to this on set one day, which is the Serge Normand Mena Revie Dry Shampoo. Mm -hmm. For me, it's almost like not a dry shampoo. It, it's extremely volumizing, but like matte. Okay. This stuff is no joke. Like if you want volume, okay. you spray this on, like it mattifies, but it literally like your hair just lifts. Like whew, it's amazing. And oh, you know, wow. Serge is known for that massive Giant head. Hair. Yes. Yeah. And then he's like, try this, and he's like, it'll take away that crispiness. And I did, and then I posted about it, and Serge like literally sent me like 20 of them. Aww. So Thanks, love them Serge. both. Thanks, yeah. Serge. And, and Harry, do you go um, anywhere in particular in the city to get your haircut? Yes, I go to um, Robin okay. at the Kin Room. Mm. He just opened up his own space, um, and he's like one of the best barbers in the country, probably. So I feel like it wouldn't be a true, you know, Mario video without a little touch up, maybe using your collaboration with KKW. All right, can we fine. do that? Yeah, we could do that. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna use a couple of colors from the KKW Mario collab. It's so fun to see it in the flesh. <laughs> I know, I love it. I love brand new ones especially. Yeah, I feel like you single-handedly brought back this color cobalt. I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Albanian. Okay. Well, because I'm Albanian. Was it fun picking the shade names? Yeah, uh, I love that part a lot. Mm. So I did, um, each shade is kind of a representation of um, something, either me or her, us together. Yeah, so I'm just applying a little bit of the shade Albanian onto the crease here and blending it outward. So I'm gonna use the shade Miami now, which you're from Miami, Miami so yeah. this is kind of like our collab it now. It is, we have our own collab. Albanian and Miami. This is like our collab. Mm -hmm. And I'm just kind of putting that right over it and blending it together. Why'd you name it Miami? So Miami is, um, Kim and I have been to Miami so much together mm -hmm. and it's a lot of our like favorite looks and actually one of our all time favorite looks was done in Miami. So we named one of them Miami. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade Miami now and I'm gonna kind of sweep that underneath the lower lash line as well. Do you always put on the back of your hand first? I do. Okay. Yeah. Everything, everything that I put on the face I always touch on um, the back of my hand first mm -hmm. or arm. Is that your natural eye color? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you. It's like crystal clear waters. <laughs> Take a little bit of Armenian, and Kim's Armenian, obviously. Mm -hmm. So actually, it's a it's a three-way collab now. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna take it just with my finger, and I'm just gonna pop it right in the center of the lid. And that just brings light to the center of the yeah. eyelid, right? Yeah. Yeah, just a happy little pop of color. So we're done here? That's it? That's it. Super yeah. simple, everyday summer look. Yes. How's my contour? Is it good? Um, <clears throat> let me see. <laughs> it's on fleek. Really? <laughs> no, it looks really good. <laughs> but what I even love even more is your highlight. Your highlight has been, it's been so beautiful all day. <laughs> Best compliment ever. But, yeah. Oh, thank you. Well, <laughs> your stash was amazing. Thank you. And I'm going to steal this palette from you and just get out. Is <laughs> it's all, all right? yours. You can have it. Yeah, <laughs> that's all yours. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you. Bye. Bye.